Last week, I tested positive for COVID. Like so many people, I thought that after two years, I'd probably avoided the virus, and yet it appears it's catching up with large numbers of people who previously never had it. It did make me wonder if I'd let my guard down, had I become a bit complacent. Maybe I was unlucky, or maybe it was just inevitable I would get infected. For me, it's been an annoying inconvenience with unpleasant symptoms. For others, COVID has led to serious illness and even death. Nevertheless, it did feel like a warning not to get complacent or assume that I would escape. And of course, of much greater significance recently has been the outbreak of a brutal war in Ukraine, which raises the question of we as a society as a church, become complacent. I was having a conversation just a few weeks ago about a book published in 1992 by historian Paul Francis Wakayama entitled The End of History. It argued that we were coming to a point where liberal democracy would triumph and prevail. Did we believe that? Did we become complacent? Did we let our guard down? It seems that history has not ended, but woken up with catastrophic consequences. Over two and a half thousand years ago, the prophet Jeremiah warned, For from the least of them to the greatest, all are greedy for gain. From prophet to priest, all practice deceit. They dress the wound of my people with very little care, saying, Peace, peace when there is no peace. We live in a highly complex, interconnected world. It's hard sometimes to see what difference we can make. It's been said that there can never be peace in the world until there is peace in our hearts. Lent is a journey into the depths of our souls, where we encounter and we recognise our frailty, and our sin, that orientation that seeks our own safety, our own comfort, our own reputation. The good news is that in Lent we do not journey alone, but with Jesus, the strong Son of God, who is both with us each step of the way, and yet goes before us to win that peace that the world cannot give.